Uncover the wonders of the Philippines, a haven of perfect beaches, warm locals, stunning nature, colorful jeepneys as public transport, and the longest holiday season starting from the bare months. Plus, it's a budget-friendly destination offering excellent value for your money. Whenever I meet international travelers I always encourage them to visit the Philippines. It is indeed one of the best holiday destinations in Asia. Don't miss out on this incredible country, and here's why. Here are 10 reasons why you should travel to the Philippines. Experience the unparalleled hospitality of Filipinos, a warmth that's incomparable to the rest of the world. Of all the travelers I have met, they mention Filipinos, the most kind and friendly people, extremely welcoming and curious, but also respectful. They always seem happy and smiling and they love to sing and to dance whenever there is an occasion to celebrate. Majority of the Filipinos are faithful in their religion, kind, caring and hardworking people. Discover the Philippines, one of the largest island groups in the world with approximately 7,107 islands, each one uniquely beautiful. Philippines islands and beaches are absolutely amazing and beautiful, it's a paradise. No kidding. Only in the Philippines where I could see beautiful beaches in the world and in my opinion, Thailand is second. The queen of all the beaches is probably White Beach in Boracay, constantly rated as one of the top 10 beaches of the world. I wouldn't say it's the best one or the top one but certainly the most famous one that attracts more travelers. If you are into white sandy beaches and turquoise crystal clear waters, you're in the right country. Philippines is made up of approximately 7,107 islands. It's not hard to find your dream beach or a pristine island over there and having it all for yourself. Immerse yourself in a shopping spree in two of the world's largest malls, SM City North Edsa in Quezon City and SM Mall of Asia in Pasay City. Both are among the top five largest shopping malls globally. When I noticed all the giant shopping malls in Manila, I had a feeling that Filipinos must be crazy about shopping. Later I figured out that shopping is also a way of family gathering for them. You might ask some of them why they prefer to mingle with friends in the mall, they will say, they come for the air conditioning. If you look for something like a flea market, check out Green Hills Shopping Center in San Juan City, loads of stalls with antiques, jewelry and pearls, and of course cheap branded clothes. Boutiques, supermarkets, fashion outlets, restaurants of all kinds, coffee shops, movie theaters and 3D cinemas, internet cafes, spas, church inside or beside the mall, you will find everything there for yourself or to entertain yourself for a whole day. Witness the diversity of wildlife in the Philippines. The country is home to a wide range of birds, plants, animals and sea creatures, including nearly 200 mammal species. Don't miss the adorable Philippine tarsier, one of the world's smallest monkey species. You will find more than 600 species of birds, over 300 species of reptiles and amphibians, and at least 400 coral species. From the giant whale shark to the world's smallest fish, Pandaka pygmia, everything you can dream of is united in the beautiful islands of the Philippines. Philippines has some stunning surroundings, the fantastic chocolate hills in Bohol, the rice terraces in Banaue, the rivers in Siargao, and the incredible archipelago of El Nido. You can climb one of the 37 volcanoes, for example the Mount Pinatubo, or see the world's smallest volcano of Tal. You can discover caves, lakes, and waterfalls. If you love nature, you will love the Philippines. Enjoy the tropical weather with an average yearly temperature of around 26.6 degrees Celsius. The Philippines never experiences extreme hot or cold temperatures, making it ideal for travel. The best time to visit is between November and May, November to February, when temperatures are at their coolest and the rain generally stays away. Things hot up from March to May, particularly with the high humidity. But don't worry, you have to spend plenty of your time anyway in the water if you love to, or head for higher ground such as the Banaue rice terraces. They also have a monsoon season and the rains can cause disruption for your sightseeing from June to October but that's okay. Small group holidays typically don't run during this period but, you can book a tailor-made holiday at any time of year. Wondering about the food? Filipino cuisine may not have been globally renowned in the past but it's gaining popularity now, with a culinary tradition that's a mix of Malay, Chinese, Spanish, Japanese and American influences, there's a plethora of dishes worth trying. Enjoy the nightlife in the Philippines where alcohol is significantly cheaper compared to most countries. Definitely a must-try is the Red Horse beer. Stronger than normal beer but nobody actually knows how much stronger since it's not written on the bottle. In a supermarket it costs you only 20 pesos per bottle, a half US dollar. They also have a family-sized beer, be it San Miguel or Red Horse. 
A bottle of Tandway Rum cost one US dollar. Favorite room is the Boracay Coconut Rum. Watch out for the white bottle, looks like Malibu. It's very delicious mixed with pineapple juice. It's only 90 pesos, less than 2 USD. But of course, prices are always subject to change by the retailers especially in the tourist area yet still very cheap. Indulge in some self-care with a relaxing massage, a must-try when in the Philippines. One of the greatest things to do in Philippines is pampering your body with a good massage. Massage places and spas are all over the country, from luxury spas to massage ladies on the beach you will find them almost everywhere. I can highly recommend trying a Swedish massage, it's a full body massage with oil. Travel with ease as over 90% of the population speaks and understands English. While not everyone might be fluent, they will certainly understand what you're saying. Big advantage compared to other Asian countries. Almost everybody speaks English in the Philippines, from a 3-year-old kid to the 90-year-old granny. English is the language of the government and the preference for written communication, be it in school or business. There are also plenty of English version newspapers and magazines. Experience the local way of life through jeepney rides. Although not air-conditioned, it's a unique experience you shouldn't miss. You'll meet lots of locals who are always curious, friendly, and helpful. Another thing you have to do in the Philippines is hiring a driver or rent a jeepney and let someone to drive it for you so you can see by yourself what's going on the countryside. Why? Because it's fun. It's cheap and it's windy, no need of an air condition. But what are these jeepneys and where do they come from? The US troops left old military jeeps back in World War II. The Filipinos opened the back, added two benches, gave them a colorful and unique design, decorative ornaments, flashy paintings, stars, dots, and sometimes even extra lights. There are also stickers inside and drivers are playing English music. And just like that, the Philippine jeepney became a cultural symbol of the country. An average jeepney can carry 16 to 20 passengers, two up front next to the driver and 14 to 18 seated in the back facing each other on two benches. Well that's the normal case but often you'll see an extra body hanging outside or onto the back, or people even occupy the roof in the countryside. For some reason mostly these outside passengers are young male. You will be surprised how much a jeepney can carry. And finally, the 11th reason. The Christmas season. The Philippines has the world's longest Christmas season starting from the bare months. As early as September you'll see homes and streets adorned with Christmas lanterns, colorful lights and more. Despite some not having the means, Filipinos exude joy when it comes to festivities. Why? It's simply part of their inherent cheerfulness, deeply rooted in their lifestyle, culture and tradition. So, there you have it. 10 plus 1 reasons why the Philippines should be on your travel bucket list. With its rich culture, beautiful landscapes, and warm people, it's a destination that promises an unforgettable experience. So, when are you planning your visit?